Well, hi everyone and a warm welcome back to the channel. We are back at Concierge Camping, a place we visited about 18 months ago and we thoroughly enjoyed it. It's quite a special place. So we decided that next time we were in the area, we must come back. So having just been to the Isle of Wight and Dorset, we're now on the South Coast still and we knew we needed to drop back into Concierge. Gonna show you around the site using some video from our previous visit, but also we're gonna take you into the local village where we went for breakfast and as Helen mentioned in our previous video, tide and time waits for no man. And you'll see what we mean. I suppose that does speak for itself, doesn't it? You know, if you're saying to yourself, is this place all it's cracked up to be? Well, there you go, that says it all. The barriers here are number plate recognition. So when you check in, you check in before you get here with all your details, you pay in advance, and then your registration number's already keyed in, so the barrier just goes straight up. Right, so we're just coming to reception area here, look. Good. <laughs> I tell you. No, it's a, Bill's a joke here. I'll introduce you to Bill in a second. So this is the shop side of things here. Look, so you've got some uh, croissants. Oh, look, Helen, you missed out here. There's croissants going on. And uh, pan au chocolat. And my favourite's down there, mini cheddars. Look. So this is the shop side of things. And if you do run out of wine, no problem, because there's plenty here. Helen's tempted to buy one of these lovely glasses for her Malibu, aren't you? Oh, look, they've got Harry Bows and everything. Pig's ears. Oh, you know who likes pig's ears, don't you? Mm -hmm. You might have to get one, but I haven't brought my wallet. We'll come back. And also there's uh, dog treats and shampoos. I think they think more about the dogs than they do about us here. So if you need to get some uh, stuff and make it yourself, look at the beef burgers and stuff in here. Lamb burgers. All from the uh, local farm shop, by the look of it. Ice cream. Where would we be without ice cream? This is a check-in area. You checked in here yesterday, Helen, didn't you? Yeah. Marvellous. And then over here, look, the creme de la rue. I ordered two bottles of this yesterday, and before I knew it, Bill had put it on the bill. This is the crystal champagne. 300 pounds of chips. So we sat here last night, had a drink, and a very nice feel, atmosphere. Plenty of smart FM going on. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Can we go around there? Can do. Go on, I'll take you around here. What we got? Please use a dog blanket if your dog. See, they love dogs here, don't they? Uh, I like that a lot. And the big outdoor area, lots of seating, sort of rustic feel. And look at these containers, they're all shut up now, but this is where we had our not so Japanese food last night. Dave in his element. <laughs> Your food's arrived. So. And so someone else. <laughs> yeah. We've been to not so, which is Japanese street food. And here are your, here's your starter, Helen. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, chicken wings. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good, isn't it? It does. And I have got the same as a starter. And then what are these chips called? Tokyo chips. Tokyo chips. Those are Tokyo chips. I think they're for you. I've got a Tokyo chips here as well for me. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a couple of burgers. This didn't fancy curry. Not that we don't like it, and it does smell lovely. It's just that. Um, we Don't a, go there. We had a curry the other day, and my goodness me, it was good, but it, it, it sort of... That's chicken. That's a chicken burger. That must that's be for mine, you. That's mine, yeah. And then I've got this burger here. What's this called? It like. What's this burger? Any idea? It's quite nice. Yeah, that's a Wagyu burger. A Wagyu burger. Mm. Get in. We ordered these last night, actually, from oh. the last site. Yeah, we ordered online, and didn't we? our time. Look what else we've got. My favourite love hearts. <laughs> nice sort of continental look, I think. As I say, it reminds me of one with the Grenadines. Everyone, everything's outdoor, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go in and have a look, yeah. 
but pipe music everywhere so I just gotta make sure we don't get any strikes but it's very nice if you like smooth FM you're gonna win <laughs> and we do like smooth FM so so here we go let's have a little walk around <clears throat> I think there's 20 pictures Helen or is it more than that it must be more than that yeah and then the dog walk down here <clears throat> think about this dog walk is it's all on the estate grounds here if you walk right down to the end which we're not I don't think we're gonna do that just now are we yeah yes. we are okay so you walk right down to the end of this bit which is a lovely dog walk then there's also a gate which takes you onto a public footpath so you can extend the walk so as you come back over the stream and turn left then you can walk over here I guess this is still included in the dog walk I suppose so we've got a dog on the lead <clears throat> but here they have some lodges so if you've not got a caravan or you don't want to go camping you just want to make it easy on yourself then a uh, number of lodges here looks like we've got log burners in as well oh, a, a little outdoor burner yeah and a barbecue on the terrace. Don't know if there's anyone in there. Don't want to be too noisy, no, nosy. Yeah, so you can light the, the burner there. Nice little terrace area here, that decking. The barbecue on. Outside light. And you're right on the stream, you've got a nice little bit. They all seem to back onto the stream, which is good. So they would all have a similar outlook over the stream yeah so what I did notice here Helen this airstream look at this I need something rather large to tow something like that around I know you can come in you get them in various sizes but twin axle very long quite narrow but if you've ever seen inside these airstreams they are superb and uh, again that's got an air conditioning unit on top and obviously a log burner inside as well. Lovely. And for all you motorhomers, look at that one, the Concorde over there. That's a big one. Come on, miss. Bell. This way. Bell. Come on, Juju. So here we are at the facilities block. Now, let's show you around. Anyone who follows the channel will know I'm not really into going in toilets, so we'll see. I might do here, we'll see. This is um, disabled and also we've got baby care facilities in here as well. I'm not going to go in. So I'm in the gents. You can sort of get the, uh, the idea, can't you? Hair dryer in here, shaving mirror. Illuminated. Right, let's loose up as soon as I get to it. Let's put it down. Look. <laughs> so just in here, then we've got a wash-up area. Again, all to a very high finish gloss units pipe music everywhere you go here so that's the only downside from my perspective laundry room so if you need to do washing and, and drying yeah so you've got a washer dryer ironing board over there which folds out of the iron looks like no charge for that uh, in terms of a wash it's four pounds for a wash a pound for a dry and then a little area over here as well A favourite bit of all. This is a great little addition, I think, the ice machine. So, best thing to do here is get a freezer bag, come and fill it up, take it back to your van, put it in your freezer box, and you have chilled drinks on your in your awning or under your sun canopy, which I think is great. That. I like that, yeah. yeah, a great little addition. Look, there's a map here, and it shows you where we are, Chichester, and there's Bogner Regis. Oh yeah, that's good to look at. So we've got, yeah, on the coast down here, Bognor Regis. The coastline comes around. Um, 
I don't know what the sort of scale this would be. It's not that big actually, because Chichester is really not very far at all from where we are. Now, is it Bossom or is it Bosham? I'll have to, I'll have to double check on that. Railway station there as well, which is handy. I did hear someone at reception saying that they can get on that and get into Portsmouth on the train or get into Chichester on the train. Also, this is quite handy. It tells you places to visit and also where the shops are and the food and drink uh, takeaways and things. Really useful. So there's a co-op farm shop at uh, Funtington, Tesco 24 hour supermarket in Chichester, there's a Waitrose, a Sainsbury's, yeah. and in terms of like, fish and chip shops and Indian takeaways and what have you, that's brilliant. Also petrol stations on the left. Yeah, and what's nice about all that is it's all numbered, it's colour coded, and it's all on the map, and it all looks to be in really close proximity. Yeah, that's good then. Well, like it. Clean this rain. So these are showers. When they're green, they're vacant. When you go in and lock up, they then turn red. Now Helen's been in here before me. But as you can see, you have a wash basin, so that's good. So I need to have a wash and a shave before I shower. When you lock the door, the light turns red, which is brilliant. The showers themselves, all well, you can see. Don't need shampoo and conditioner and stuff because it's all provided. Got a little seat here that folds out. Start again, I think. Let's press start again. <laughs> yeah, even Bella's getting a bath time today, look. All part of the concierge camping service. Come out the corner. <laughs> Come on, Muppet. Bath time. So they provide everything here. Look, we've got some uh, groomers performance detangle uh, lotions here. They've also got some baby shampoo, which Helen's got in the corner. Yeah. And they've also got a, a, a brush, a big hair dryer thing over here. I think that's what it is. Anyway, find out in a minute. And then, as you might have mentioned this earlier, but it's a free service, but if you want to make a donation, that goes to Battersea Dogs and Cats Home, so yeah, we will. So we didn't just stay on the, on the, on the site for three days, we actually went and we visited the National Trust, a uh, big house called Petworth. Hmm. Um, and that was quite nice, wasn't it? And it was in a nice little market town as well. Yeah, it's named after the house, actually. The house yeah, Petworth. The yeah, really beautiful place. Mm. What, about 20, 25 minute drive? Something like that, about 20 minutes I think. It was I think, yeah, around that. Henry VIII used to live there for a period of time and I took a picture of him in this fabulous dining room mm. above the... Uh, and the I thought he was dead. <laughs> oh. And also it's set in a deer park and there's lots of little bambies there, isn't there? There is, yeah. It's, it's a lovely place. Well worth a visit if you're in the area, definitely. Mm. In fact, I should just say that um, we were here for three nights and um, there's a lot to do in the area. Bognor Regis just down the road, Chichester just around the corner. Yeah. You've got Portsmouth down the road, Hailing Island and Southampton. So we're at Bossom for breakfast, I suppose. But I should just show you, because we almost parked on what looked like a car park over there, which has now completely disappeared. This road floods each tide. And when we were about to park, a lady came up and said, the tide's coming in. So we said, right, how long have you got? She said, five minutes. Well, it's been a bit longer than that, to be fair. But this was, was like quite a big car park about 15 minutes ago, and there was about half a dozen cars on it. So look how it's changed. I'll just take you down here, and you can see 
where the tide comes in by the wall here. So this road will be underwater shortly. There's a pub down here as well, which um, often they have to put their floodgates up, but we're gonna have a little look. See, there's a car parked over here. Someone's in it, I think they must, they must know they're gonna be underwater shortly. It's a lovely mild day. We had a bit of rain first thing this morning. Thunderstorms forecast for later, which Helen's not too happy about. This is the Anchor Blur over here. The Blue Anchor. They've got steps up there, okay. They're going to be safe. <laughs> Just drive in front of me. I can't say, oh dear, oh dear. I nearly lost it there. Yeah, we'll just stop for a second and show you. You can see the ripples on the water as the tide comes in. So just around the road here, there's a lovely little quaint harbour. The sailing boats anchored off shore and all the tenders well they'll be knocking around somewhere there's a couple you need a tender to get to your sailing boat if it's anchored in the middle of the harbour so this is the water now starting to come over the road like yeah you really haven't got very long and uh, these houses here, people do live in these. <laughs> so maybe their driveway's on the other side. We'll have a look in a second. So this is Bossom Key here. And there's a lovely mill, look at that. Water flowing through the mill, very nice. I better head back because I do think this road will be flooded fairly quickly now. The old cottage. Hey Helen, they've made cottages here with you in mind, look. No, they haven't. Look. I couldn't get in there. Look at the size of the door. So there's a bell over Corner Cottage and over the old ship cottage. They've got the old nav lights off the boats like hell. Oh, look at that lucky bridge. Let's see if anybody knows what that is. I've never seen one of them before. Okay, so there's two of them actually. So Helen's asking if you know what is this bush here. She really likes the look of it. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? And there's another one over here, which is a, quite a big one, look. I mean, it looks like a magnolia tank. Yeah, it looks a bit like a magnolia, doesn't it? rhododendron, but they're trees, aren't they? Answers in the comments, please, if you know what they are. We're just sitting here at the, at the back of the pub, and it's odd to see a dead end um, uh, on a sign here, but it's in the middle of the water. Have a look. <laughs> that just shows how uh, where the road is and where the water is. And the strange thing is, when I walked down that road a short while ago, literally 10 minutes ago, I walked around the corner there, see where the posts are, that's the edge of the road. Walk around the corner and took you to the quay and saw that lovely quayside cottage. Well, that's cut off now, so we can't get around there. And this road is rapidly getting cut off. So where we were going to park originally is now the, the water is over the road. From these two cars here, it's going to be quite interesting because when the tide comes in, <laughs> where are they going to go? Unless we're just going to leave them there. Let's just wait and see what happens here. This could be interesting. There's two cars here. <laughs> yeah. How high does it go? Uh, it's a 4.2 km. Oh, really? Oh. I don't, I don't know where they are, but. Uh, it's a 4.4 actually. Is it? How high is that then? 4.4 meters is that? 4.4 meters. Is it really? Wow. So they're going to be. Uh, they're going to be They're going to be in trouble, aren't they? 
So the landlord from the pub has just told us that the tide today is 4.4 metres at 2.17, in which case water would be um, over the top of the sills of these cars and maybe flooded inside. Just made it. They just made it. Luckily, they were in the pub. They did get wet feet though, didn't they? Yeah. So, <laughs> this is the road back down. I walked up here a little while ago. We were just sat up here having a drink. That's even more cruel. <laughs> That's even more cruel. Yeah, before and after. <laughs> yeah. I was having a joke with the landlord, he said, did you get it on film? I said, well, sort of, I didn't like to sort of film him really, felt a bit bad. And he said he'd have shared the 250 quid with me if I'd done it. <laughs> Lovely little village, very quaint. A nice church around the corner. We'll go have a little look at that. Look at that, lovely cottage. Yeah, should we find out how much? Oh, all the ducks in the window, look. Yeah, the hat. Yeah. Uh, Very nice. A nice pub we've just been in. It is a nice pub actually. It's looking back there. If you lived here, you'd have a drink every night, wouldn't you? Uh, I think you would. Depends. Should we buy it? Sure now, here or not. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson and Stops. We'll see how much that is. Look at this little thatched cottage here, look. There's a boat for sale. Oh, a nice church thing. Oh, it goes around there onto the quay, look. Do you want to go in or not? Uh, I'll go in quick. In living memory of Jennifer Warnham, who lived at the manor, these gates are given, this, are given, the sea claimed her at the age of 23, 1927 to 1950. We are blessed in this country with some beautiful church buildings. We really are. And this one is absolutely magnificent for such a small place. It's got such a large, beautiful church. This is interesting, to the glory of God and in memory of a daughter of King Canute who died early in the 11th century, aged about eight years, whose remains lie enclosed in a stone coffin beneath this spot, placed by the children of the parish, August 1906. Well, it's a wonderful place, it really is. Um, it's got a lot going for it. I think this would be a fabulous place to live, particularly if you had a boat and you love the all things nautical, because just here is the key. so much to do if you're in the area so um and there's a train station which is just around the corner mm -hmm. and you can hop on the train uh, to either uh, chichester or to portsmouth so 
if you have been thank you for watching if you're brand new around here uh, try hitting that subscribe button and join us and you'll see all the videos that we do it's free doesn't cost anything and we appreciate your support give us a thumbs up leave a comment and we answer all the comments thanks for watching guys we'll see, see you, you in the next time. one bye bye